Ladies and gentlemen, the wait is finally over. The time has arrived. March 7th, 2024. New Game Plus has arrived for Marvel Spider-Man 2 PS5 by Insomniac Games. And let's just... Let's give everybody a round of applause, you know? Now, would you guys say that we are a little bit late for New Game Plus? Yes. Let's also not forget that Insomniac Games did, unfortunately, suffer an attack by hackers not too long ago regarding employee information being stolen, unannounced titles being announced or leaked. It's understandable that a lot of this kind of got delayed. But guys, we are not here for all of this stuff. What we are here today is to talk about everything that Insomniac has given us for this new update on New Game Plus. So with New Game Plus being added, we got four additional suits. Two of those are going to be behind a paid wall with the flying fresh pack and then the other two are going to be available as soon as you update your game so that way you can play with new game plus now insomniac games did collab with game heads to go ahead and create this pack to raise money for a charity once both companies have reached a certain goal that they are trying to raise the suits will then become free they won't be behind a paid wall forever but as of right now if you do want to contribute and pay the 4.99 you'll be getting a fly suit for peter a fresh suit for miles 10 photo mode stickers and two photo mode frames now everybody does have their own personal opinion about what suits they like what suits they don't like if you guys don't like the suits don't worry you're not gonna have to pay for them if you guys do like the suits i encourage you guys to go ahead and pay the money so that way you can go ahead and play with the suits but it's also for a good cause if you guys want to learn more about game heads and the collaboration that insomniac games is doing with them i'll go ahead and leave a link down in the description below so that way you guys can get more information and the two other suits that you're able to use right off the rip is going to be the hellfire gala suits one is going to be for miles the other one's going to be for peter so next up on our list is going to be the ultimate level now ultimate levels is a pretty cool thing it's basically just an increase on the level cap that we received from the base game so in the base game we were capped at level 60 but now with the ultimate levels it gives us an incentive to continue to go for other suit styles that we need to unlock for the symbiotes and then our golden gadget styles basically what i'm understanding is you get a golden variation of the gadget that you have so i believe all the gadgets that you have for either peter or for miles they're all red and silver these ones will be all gold as i said in my previous video i think this is just for a flex a flexing thing maybe there might be more to it but as of right now i currently do not have these i need to go ahead and continue through new game plus to go ahead and unlock these styles but as of right now these are just golden styles it's just a flex this is just something that you can get in addition to kind of go ahead and continue to progress through your levels and finally ladies and gentlemen we are finally able to do a time of day change we have six different styles you can see here on the screen right now as much as this is awesome and this is something that we have asked for i would have preferred if we also got the ability to change the weather just that mission that you're able to play when you're going to meet craven at the church and when it's raining it's dark it's thundering it's stormy it's beautiful to be able to play through that anytime you want obviously you're still able to do it because now you have the ability to replay missions just to be able to have a little bit more customization i think would be awesome but i'm not going to complain too much because a lot of the things that we did ask for in this update we did end up receiving all right guys so next up on our list is going to be photo mode now there are two features that caught my eye one of them obviously being action figure mode basically what it's going to do is it's going to shrink your character down to the size of an action figure and you're able to just have customizable options to take these pictures you can have spider-man either peter or miles let's say posing sitting on a little coffee cup maybe standing on a pedestrian i'm sure this is going to be very beneficial to those of you guys who mess around with photo mode because honestly you guys are just way too talented and for you guys to have more options at your disposal to take better pictures or different unique pictures it's a win-win in my book to be honest with you the second feature that caught my eye that i really do enjoy it's the ability to add the damage to your suit when you look at this feature it's going to start off at 100 meaning that you have 100 health and then you can take it all the way down from 100 all the way to one or to zero and obviously one or zero meaning that you are at the lowest hp your suit is all scraped up it's all torn it's bloody all of that stuff and honestly i believe this is also another w because you have the ability to be able to change how the suit looks in the picture if you want it to be completely good, completely clean, everything you can. But for those people who want their pictures to look edgy, to look rough, to look badass, you guys have that option too. And honestly, who wouldn't want more options at their disposal to make everything more entertaining and more unique to the player? And finally, ladies and gentlemen, the last thing that I did want to go ahead and talk to you guys about was the dev menu bug that's going around. I will not explain how you guys do it just because it's a bug. It's not supposed to be there. And it does have some information that we are not supposed to see. Please do not share this information with anybody, with your friends or over the internet or anything like that. It's disrespectful towards Insomniac Games. Obviously, this is an honest mistake. This isn't something that's to be out for the public so please guys if you do come across it just keep it to yourselves or just try to avoid it at all cost 
I'm sure at the time of this recording that Insomniac Games have put out a statement saying that they are going to work on a patch to go ahead and remove this bug. But as of right now, I have not received any new update on my PlayStation saying that there's an update for Spider-Man 2. So for right now, guys, as I said, if you've come across it, keep all the information to yourself or if you haven't just stay away wait for insomniac to go ahead and put a new patch out but yeah guys i think that's everything if i missed anything important that had to do with this update i'll go ahead and leave it down in the description or the comments below but for the most part i think this update was pretty solid it was pretty good it was needed and insomniac games just they know how to deliver they really really do now are there some things that i believe are missing from this update yes of course i wish we did have the ability to change the weather but if we can just get what already came in the game which is the thunderstorms and the heavy rain if we can get that at least I'd be satisfied and I'm sure 99.99999% of us would be satisfied as well. And lastly, the main thing that I feel was missing from this update was an announcement for DLC. As of right now, there still hasn't been any confirmation, any word or anything about DLC coming from Insomniac Games. We've heard rumors, we've heard leaks. Do I believe that we are getting DLC? Yes, I feel like that's just a given to be honest with you, just because I know that there's so much more story to tell. But for the most part, for Carnage, I feel like that should be still within the Spider-Man to story so i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did please be sure to like comment and subscribe that lets me know that you guys are enjoying this video and that you want more of this kind of content so that's gonna be it thank you guys so much for coming into this video i really do appreciate all the love support and everything else in between and as always it's been your boy dials i will see you in the next one take care peace